all have urges to buy new things, but we need to understand that to get these things, we have to save for them. Here is some information that you need to know, want to know, and didn't know about saving. Okay, saving is all about you. So this is where paying yourself first comes in. Here is how it works. You should have at least two bank accounts. A checking account where all money goes in and the only account where money comes out. Your second account is for your savings. Here, you decide what that money is for. It could be used for moving out, a vacation, your dream wedding, maybe a down payment on a house, or even on that much needed vehicle. It would happen if you save. It's a huge commitment, but you know you're worth it. Pay yourself first. Once you get into the habit of doing it once or twice a month, it will become second nature. Even if you're living paycheck to paycheck, remember, it's all about you. Think about it this way. The average takeout lunch can cost about $10 a day. Over a week, that's 50 bucks. If you brown bag your lunch over one year, you've just saved over $2,500. Ever so often, we're blindsided by unexpected expense, like a computer repair, a loss of cell phone, or an abrupt end of employment. This is why it's important to put some money set aside. Even if money is tight, put even the smallest amounts away. If you found a dollar a day, that adds up to 365 loonies a year. Not much, right? But add it to the money you've saved from brown bagging it, a cool three grand. Not a bad chunk of change you've saved in one year. Simple, right? You've done it. See? Paying yourself first, that's pay off. Now you have the freedom to use your money on what you want. But remember, just because you have it doesn't mean you have to spend it. There's no limit to how much you can save. You will retire. But let's talk about retirement. It is probably the furthest things from your mind. But do you want to be rich by the time you're 65? you need to start investing in your retirement savings now. Look at these stats. Jane, who is now 27 years old, started investing $1,000 a year at the age of 18 years. Today, 10 years later, her nest egg is worth close to $290,000. Now, look at Bill, who started his investments much later in life at the age of 40. As you can see, the same amount of money invested each year over a much longer period of 25 years has yielded a much smaller sum of money, just $108,000. Here's the ticket to really making your money work for you. Check this out. Mary, who started investing the exact same amount of cash, $1,000 each year from the tender age of 18, look what happened to her investment when she retires at the age of 65. She'll be living pretty on a retirement fund of over half a million dollars. ka -ching! As you can see, starting early really pays off in a huge way. But do your homework first. Not all bank and investment accounts are the same. Look for the ones that meet your needs and offer you the best value. Remember, make your money work for you. For more information about creating a spending plan and retirement savings ideas, check out creditededucationweekcanada.com.